Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome to the real life zoo tour of Blydorp, the last episode of Asia. I'm joined not by one, but by two people today. Introduce yes. yourself. Oh, hello, <laughs> okay, hello, yeah, hello, I thought you were gonna yeah. okay. introduce us. So now okay, we're sorry, sorry. Yeah, I usually yeah, do yeah. that actually. I don't know. Oh, okay. See, this is yeah, already but... becoming a mess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you don't know if it's Leider or Leader or whatever you want to call him. So yeah, I can, yeah. Uh, I can uh, imagine. No, yeah. I know it's Leader. I know it's Leader. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm joined by Lieder and Zoof today, and we already had our first backstage peek, but we don't really need to peek this episode because we're actually going to be entering the backstage door that we can see over there. But first, we're going to go inside of the Taman Indonesia building, or Taman India building. Oops, I'm already messing up. Um, this is the uh, kind of old pachyderm house of Rotterdam Zoo. So it has the rhino, the elephants, and the tape here, uh, as well as some other stuff. I can uh, remember when you walk through these doors and the smell that's coming out of this building. <laughs> that's that's yes. just yeah, the full experience that you need. So an interesting thing about this door is um, we can see right now it used to be a revolving door, a rotating one with a cool piece of art in the middle. Um, but that is uh, been reconstructed, as you can see over here. So now it is just a, a sliding door and you can still see the oh. circle of where the revolving door used to be. But they've cleaned it up pretty nicely, so uh, that's cool. Um, Keeps the smell inside a little bit better, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we're getting the full. Uh, you're getting the full history of in the past year of this building now. Um, and yeah, over here we get our first indoor area. This is the indoor area of the Indian rhino that we saw in the last episode. Well, you two haven't yet. But <laughs> okay, it's very big. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's relatively big. It's actually, I would say, yeah, I have seen smaller in, uh, rhino stalls, but I have never seen such a themed rhino stall as this one, so it feels a bit no, no. weird I always see those so. concrete ones, but I live yeah. in a specific country with specific yeah. architecture. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> well, there's probably a concrete one back there behind those bars that we saw, but... Okay. Uh, the one in the viewing area here is at least a bit nicely dressed up. This entire building is actually really lovely uh, decorated yeah. with even all the support beams have all this wood around it, making it look like trees. Yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. This definitely feels like the Netherlands for me. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, they put it's effort our, into stuff. <laughs> our local foliage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very local, yes, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So this over here is the discovery tree, as the sign over there says. It has some things about jungly stuff. What can uh, you discover, though? Like nuts and things. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I want to discover, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's oh, a little oh, stepping oh, stone. Oh, oh, oh. Did oh. you sleep? No, oh, okay. No, Good. no, oh. luckily not. Such a shame. <laughs> Otherwise, this would have been a great video. <laughs> no, I have one of those videos uh, someday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. This last weekend, I recorded uh, myself hitting my head very hard. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's like a that good stormtrooper. Yeah. Yeah. Can we mm -hmm. also join in that one? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> so just now we saw a, a giant corpse flower. It's a, it's a fake one though, because those flowers only grow for like a few days per year. So we oh, really, really God. get to see them. But, it looks uh, like Zoof. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I wanted to make that joke. <laughs> yeah, so this is really nice. We got a, a nice little aquarium in the pachyderm house with some tropical fish. Uh, most notably the archer fish. We could actually see one kind of close ah, to the, the surface. Ah, fish. Um, and I think the uh, fish that looked like Zoof was a giant gurami. Ooh. Yeah. That's what they call me in the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we have another nice indoor area, uh, similar to the one for the rhino, but this one is for the Malayan tape here. Ooh. And uh, yeah, again, we got some really lovely looking rock work. There's also kind of a painting of a cave on oh. the uh, in the back of the cave. And here we have the Malayan tape here, together with a baby. This was, I think, a year or so ago, so it's probably not there anymore at this point. The but bigger one needs washing, though. He looks very <laughs> dirty. Not not as white yeah. as I would expect it to be. I mean, they've got a little bath there, so it's up to them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And on this side, there's a little glass and mesh thing. This is... And it's too bad that Poison Blade isn't here anymore. But this oh. is for a, a Provost Skrull. 
So ah, we got a squirrel oh, enclosure in here. I as well. remember this part. Yep. Yeah, Will we, we go up the stairs? Yes, we are going to oh. go up the stairs, obviously. Oh. Oh, uh, there actually used to be stairs. a lot more up here. If we uh, turn to the left, I remember as a kid there used to be some like walking stick and leaf insects uh, around here, but now there's just this little seeding area and things like that. So, but you do still get a really nice view of the entire building, all the scaffolding and all sorts of stuff. That's not the word I'm looking for. It's, like, you mean the structure? The structure, oh, the support. Yeah. You're the architect yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us something about it, Lido. Uh, metal. Yes, Fair. it's a lot of Fair metal. metal. Yes. Glass. Mm. Yes. So, mm. what are we supposed to see here? This is the elephant. Bar. Oh, okay. That's actually the main the main topic of today's video. Oh, oh yeah. I, I thought <laughs> I signed up for a tiger enclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that will that <laughs> So from up here we can see the squirrel being all oh. nice and chill, uh, nice. climbing yeah. his uh, climbing his it little fake tree. Does look like poison blade. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this video that went viral online a few days ago? Like the squirrel that commits suicide, but it doesn't die. No, I haven't seen it. No. You should send it to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we can even look down here, and then over here we have a enclosure. This used to be a gibbon enclosure, as far mm -hmm. as I know. Um, but now it has the reefed hornbill in it. So okay. There oh, it is. There he is. It's really cool. So this one used to be in the Riviera Hall, in the walkthrough part. But uh, I don't know why. They moved it away from there and it gave it its own... Uh, they moved a space. lot out of the uh, Riviera Hall, right? I can remember yeah, that yeah, yeah. it used to be... Um, I don't know. A lot of animals in there, but now it's like one big... Uh, Playground for kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a bit of a bummer in my opinion, yeah. but uh, yeah. yeah, it is uh, what Children it is. As, as noisy as animals, so yeah, true. It's kind of you could see it as a big uh, children enclosure. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm not I like sure those. how happy the parents <laughs> would make it. So yeah, down here there's some education about plants and about the kind of layers of the rainforest. So you can look there. Yeah, cool. and which animals can be found in which layers, the different cool. birds and the other I things. Must, I must say I really like this building. I don't know why, but it looks cool. It's spacious, it's green, it's themed. Yeah, it's actually a really impressive. Like, this is this is a really old building already, and just the quality of things like the faux rock and stuff like that is just absolutely amazing. But are those rocks, like, uh, from back then? Or I've, are they renovated? I think this entire building is, is like... I don't think any renovation has taken place yeah, As far here. as I know, it's, it's always been like... Uh, like this, just small changes. Like different animals and... Okay, so when like you were in the era of four rocks, we were in the era of making rocks out of concrete, which were just... I don't are know. You, are you not still in that era? <laughs> what? Are you starting to move past it? Uh, no, no, we are still in the concrete era. <laughs> <laughs> so this over here is really, really cool. This is a device that uh, Blyder developed with uh, um, to help the elephants uh, during <laughs> operations. So this is oh? a skill. This is a skill model, of course. But uh, there is a, a full-size one somewhere. It's uh, an elephant ro rotator. It's an elephant <laughs> rotator. So this makes it so that they don't have to tranquilize the elephants every time they need to do a checkup or anything like that. They can just put them in the elephant rotator and uh, and yeah, do little uh, so cool little Whoa. things. So it's really nice. It's really nice for the animals because there's a lot of risk in tranquilizing an animal, especially one as big as an elephant. So uh, yeah, this makes them a whole lot safer. And it's really cool that they got a little display about it like this. It's also some oh. other small displays. This is like a little, yeah, kijk dose. <laughs> I don't know the English word for it. Um, look box. But, look box. <laughs> but you can uh, you can look inside and see some miniatures, and it explains how there's like the family group, but there's also a group of explorers who uh, venture out into the forest to look for food or danger. It's very um, cool. There's things about uh, communication with an elephant with a button that doesn't work, and over here it's all about reproduction. So. Um, here it talks about must, with his, which is kind of the phase in which animals are uh, 
where elephants are wow. getting uh, wow. in the moon. Oh, you have to blur that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blur what? Blur what? Blur this? No, oh, close up. No, oh. <laughs> oh. It's very, uh, oh, very wait. important. Oh, it's educational. Okay. <laughs> educational content. <laughs> yeah, then we get a baby. kids watching. <laughs> ah. It's not the first elephant. <laughs> uh, this is not a family friendly channel. No. It's not the first time <laughs> we've anymore. seen an elephant member on this channel. So. <laughs> ah, okay, that's good. Oh my god. It's like the main content. <laughs> so people subscribe for it. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You want to see more? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they hit that like button. <laughs> so here's a cool little detail. There's a there's a crack in the window over there, and they just uh, put a sticker over it, and that uh, of course solves every problem. Uh, yeah, I you can't fix it with duct tape. Oh, no, I'm not see. using enough duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this is the uh, the snake enclosure. So of course a little crack in the window doesn't matter. I mean, if they escape, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> just a is. small snake. Yeah. So this is a uh, Burmese python over here. And I do really like the way that this is like integrated into the wall like that. It's a really, really cool enclosure. So, yeah. Okay. Now, that was impressive. We just have one more view, kind of the main view of the elephant yard oh, over here. All the animals are outside. Of course, it was a very beautiful day. So uh. I do have a lot of footage of this yard with the animals inside, including a baby. I actually have a video of that on my channel. Not not my second channel, but this one of when Maximus or Maxi, the baby elephant was just born. Uh, so I'll probably link that in the corner here somewhere. <laughs> Wasn't that okay. like two years ago or something? Um, two years ago there was a baby, but also last year there was another baby. Ah, okay. Maxi. Because yeah, I remember so. seeing it as well. Yeah. Oh, where are we so going? This is just a peek of the backstage. Over here is oh, the okay. backstage door. But we're actually going to go for the main entrance. So we're going to go back outside. And we Did you have like a VIP tour? Um, so, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh, you can actually rent one yourself. There is uh, two kind of tours you can rent at Blyder. One's backstage at the uh, Oceanium, the aquarium, mm -hmm. and one is uh, backstage, or yeah, at the elephants. Um, but yeah, over there you can also see a temperature and humidity gauge. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's go outside and look at some elephant backstage. So yeah, I went into the elephant backstage twice, actually. Um, last summer, there were some open evenings in which they opened up a couple of backstages. So some of the footage is from then. Um, but most of the footage will be from when I took a private tour um, into the elephant backstage. Oil loads. Yes, so this is the, um, yeah, hoy loads. It's the hay barn. That's where they store all of the hay for the elephants. And uh, yeah, we can see that in here. So there's just lots of space to A lot of bicycles, of course. <laughs> store all of that stuff or store the bicycles for the employees. Yeah. There's a little... Um, whatever you call that <laughs> truck thing to transport all of the hay and things. Oh, a lot um, of hay for so many elephants. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not just the elephants, of course. There's also the rhino and the tapir and other other enclosures are also being Squirrels. served from this. Snakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Over there, we can see a little fence that is um, kind of a limited contact fence. So the elephants will be behind that fence and put their feet in the holes. Things like that. Here we can also see the employees open up oh, the main like Jurassic gate. Park. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so here we can look into the uh, enclosure from a different angle, which is really, really cool. That's nice. Oh, there's an elephant there. No. Yes, there is a. I think that is the separation area for the pool uh, when they have one. So okay. right now. Uh, at the moment, I think Blydorp only has females, uh, and they're working on expanding the um, elephant yard in the future, and they're going to make a separate bull area. Um, but at the moment, yeah, there's only only females. So there's also a little area up there. I'm not exactly sure what is out there. And very important for our Planet Zoo inspiration, we have a kitchen. And we can actually go inside of here. So. And lions on the menu, nice. Yes, and here you can also see there's like uh, the uh, lion-tailed macaque, the bantang is also on the sign. So you can see that they're making food for a variety of animals out here and it's being kind of dispersed. Because this building is kind of a central hub in a way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to, I guess, 
Oh I'll my god. the animal from oh. here. <laughs> Here's a little educational thing. This is all about yeah. uh, being a veterinary. And what you can do is you can stick your arm up there and oh, yes. try to uh, feel where the baby elephant is. That's is, a uh, full backstage experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's interesting to see, like, they put all of these educational things around here because they do backstage tours, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you're doing a backstage tour, you're going to want to give the people some education as well. Yeah, so of that's... course. If I was an employee, I would use that ed education item every day. <laughs> All right, we're not going to look too far into that. But, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for the info. <laughs> no problem. I'm here the to The lockers. Entertain. Yeah, the locker is very important as well. And yeah, we can see things like elephant tusks and you can lift it up. Uh, it's on the chain there, so you, you can kind of lift it up and see how heavy it is. And you've got skulls, you've got your brushes and brooms. And uh, yeah, all your backstage needs. Yeah, we were Whoa. just looking through this window, yeah. Yes, exactly. So that is it for the indoor area of uh, the Asia area, elephant oh. area. <laughs> okay. Well, now we are going Let's to go. be walking around the habitat. So over here, this is the entrance of the big walkthrough aviary that we can't go inside of because of the bird flu. This cave over oh. here is what used to be a bat cave, but it has been closed for a very, very long time. Um, I don't know if there's any bats in there still. Maybe there's wild ones. It's a bat cave. Yeah, it's just a bat cave at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Very funny. Thank you. Yes. A bat <laughs> cave for a bad joke. Yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's have another little peek over this fence. Because that's what we like to do on this channel. Um, nice. Here we can see um, what oh. goes into a separation area for the elephants as well. And here you can access the habitat using like cars and trucks and things. Mm -hmm. to, uh, do maintenance or whatever you need. And I then like over that here, when, uh, yes? since we are, we are playing Planet Zoo, you go to a zoo in a very different way. You are making yeah. pictures of like fences and and bins and yes. I think people <laughs> yeah. often are very confused at what I'm recording. Yeah, yeah. Why <laughs> is he making a picture of that? You know, there's an elephant right next to you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but but look, there's a there's a sign over here. It's really yeah. very important. <laughs> Look at this no. mesh fence, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, what it's we can see mesh. over here is uh, because we can't enter the aviary, they created some yeah, rudimentary viewing areas into it uh, by taking away some of the bamboo around it and uh, putting up some fences and signs. Is this one so. with the very big birds? Yes, this one. Mm. Actually, maybe maybe you're thinking of the African one. Uh, they both oh, have yeah, big yeah. birds. But uh, yeah, this is the one with the rope bridge and there's a waterfall. And ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I haven't been in here for uh, a very, very long time. I don't have any footage of the inside of it because ever since I started recording zoo tours, uh, bird flu has been a factor. So, yeah. So it's and, an uh, everlasting bird flu. Pretty much. Yes. It yeah. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> sucks really, really bad. But anyway, we are uh, heading into this little adventurous trail. Wow. going along the side of the elephant enclosure so we're going all the way around so uh, strap in <laughs> for a very oh, long so <laughs> there was a kid screaming there was... <laughs> I mean would yeah. you not scream if you saw a sign of an elephant <laughs> no but he saw you probably <laughs> <laughs> coming out of the bushes <laughs> I mean yeah. mom it's a uh, pot <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so Elephant. back there we could see the uh, the backstage area that we peeked over the fence for earlier. Oh, um, but the swimming have, pool. Here we have the main main elephant yard. So they have a, a very nice large outdoor area, despite what some people in comment sections of my videos have been saying. <laughs> well, they didn't have enough space for them. Uh, yeah, someone commented on that video of the baby elephant in the indoor area, like, oh. This is horrible. Elephants need to have large outdoor spaces. I'm like, they do. They have. This is just their stall. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of the biggest uh, outdoor enclosures I've seen. I think. Yeah, and they're gonna double it pretty much. So, oh, how much is it currently? If you know, uh, I don't know from the top of my head. I think it's somewhere around two thousand square meters, probably. Two thousand. Probably. Yes. Oh my know. god! So I'm still impressed. By horses when they have 5,000 for the concrete bowl. <laughs> That's a big concrete bowl. Yeah, what I really like as well is these areas where they've 
um, yeah, sectioned off some, some greenery just to get some lushness into their enclosure as well. But they can still walk around this part. Uh, it's a bit of a one-way street. I don't think you can fit two elephants in that uh, that part. But nah, there might still... be a sign on one one side. Oh, nah, no, actually, yeah, I think I think two could pass each other there if they really want to. So yeah, it's really That's really a cool. Nice elephant. It's, uh, it's a very nice elephant. Yes. There was also a better, uh, like more realistic way of showing the Netherlands because it's all like sunny outside here, <laughs> beautiful weather. Yeah, the government well, we, should pay you. We got yeah. some we got some spring footage just to uh, keep things nice. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Ah, look at the corona signs. Yes, those are still Yeah. Haven't all been removed yet, I guess. I don't know why I find that would be so hard. But anyway, leader, it's time for you to shine because we oh. are finally heading Ooh. to the Tiger Creek. Oh, but I forgot to do my elephant jokes. Oh, well, we'll, we'll go back to the elephants pizza. later. Okay, 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 okay. Well, once we, you do need to hurry up though because we are, <laughs> we're already halfway through pretty much. So did you oh, did you okay. prepare tiger jokes? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh. Tiger facts. <laughs> uh, tigers are cats. Huh. Mm. I didn't know that. Thank you. Quite yeah, big ones. No, no problem. So, yeah. no problem. Currently, we are on the tiger adventure route, so it's just a little walk through a bamboo forest and. Uh, we encountered a tiger just now, and uh, over here we have some education about uh, yeah, fake medicine, basically. Yeah. Uh, you know how in India or Asia, a lot of people believe that tiger parts hold special powers, so they turn yeah. them into medicine. And this sign is basically talking about all of that. So, how what the supposed effects are of all of these different parts of the tiger, and uh, yeah. Of course, why that is complete bullshit. <laughs> okay. Oh. Nice. The grease from. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I learned something today. Yeah. If you ever have arm by you, uh, <laughs> go to China. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, just more education about uh, creating safe areas, creating, yeah, protecting them in the wild. There's this really cool little viewing area, if only it was actually a viewing area, because all that you can really see is bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. But nice the sign says, area. invisible tigers. So I, Yeah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. But still, this would be a really cool viewing area if they actually kind of integrated it into the fence. But <laughs> I've never seen this part. Really? You just yeah. uh, always go straight to the tigers. Or well, maybe once I see it... Then you see. Now, then oh, yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of oh, sure. this part. Yes. Then you have on two sides, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So we are now entering the tiger habitat. Fun fact mm -hmm. uh, this used to be uh, on either side of this, uh, there used to be a polar bear habitat and I think sea lions. So uh, that's the old, old zoo. Um, and you can actually still see elements of those enclosures in here, but we'll see that when we, uh, when we leave again. Yeah, we have two tiger habitats on either side. I really do quite like these uh, these enclosures, but they are, um, yeah. The master plan does have new plans for the tigers eventually. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm curious to see what that's going to be. I about. never liked this viewing area because there are always people <laughs> and they're shouting and screaming and there's yeah, like it's echo very, echoing it's everywhere. It's very echoey in here. Yeah, that's yeah, true. And I always feel bad for them, uh, for the tigers. Yeah, I don't oh, know one. how much they can uh, actually hear it outside. Yeah, it's a fast tiger. So this is the uh, Sumatran tiger, by the way, for people who were curious. Uh, a lot of foods you will find the Siberian or the Amur tiger. But, uh, we have the Sumatran ones. Maybe they are really cheaper. Cool. Then uh, this is also pretty interesting. All of these grass stickers. Uh, they were here for a while. They are gone now. Or maybe they are mm -hmm. they are already back. This was actually part of a, a research study that was being conducted here. So we were trying to measure what the effects of those stickers were. So they did some like measurements with them and without them to see how they affect the behavior of the tiger. Oh, uh, the effect on the viewing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the effect on the viewing yeah. was... Yeah. Probably for kids it was uh, pretty great, but for yeah. adults who can just look over it, it doesn't really matter that much. But... Uh, this is mm -hmm. where they, they're always sleeping. This is where That's they're why always I was sleeping. Feeling, uh, feeling bad for them because all the people were screaming. 
Yeah, I, I hope it's um, it's soundproof for them. I'm guessing it's it's pretty well soundproof, probably. Yeah. You have a kind heart, Mr. Zoof. Yeah, 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 I do. For you animals, can, though. For animals. Oh, yeah. oh humans, for the animals. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> humans yeah. can, uh, can yeah. be dropped in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have enough of them. <laughs> yeah. So, apparently I didn't cut out my own voice from this part, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> So over here, which uh, there's a little part that I also really like, this uh, kind of bamboo barrier oh. area with some oh. bones in Dead it. Animal. Um, but there's actually like th those bamboo poles. There's probably metal inside of them, but that's actually the barrier. There's no glass or anything extra there. Oh, um, I always oh. thought that was really cool. That's nice. Go behind the fence. And then um, last thing over here. This is uh, the tunnel of love. The Two habitats are actually connected through a tunnel that goes under the viewing area there. So that's uh, whenever they want to breed the tigers, they can open the tunnel of love and ah, they can get to each other. That's why it's called the tunnel of love. Exactly. Love and over here we can also see this concrete wall, which I actually never noticed because of how thick all the bamboo is. But that concrete wall is actually the remnants of the old like polar bear enclosures and stuff like that. So. Blydorp has a lot of bamboo. It's yeah. like the bamboo forest of the Netherlands. Well, a lot of zoos have a lot of bamboo. It's just a very nice, versatile plant that... It's cheap. It's cheap, it grows quickly, it stays green during the winter most of the time. So... Yeah, the bridge. Yes, we're going to have a quick look on the um, bridge of Ravenstein. Um, there's a little sign here talking about how they made the bridge accessible for people in wheelchairs. At least one side of it. Um, okay. It didn't used to be, so... It's hard to build for people on wheelchairs. No offense, people on wheelchairs, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's hard to build for you. Well, imagine uh, being the one having to push the wheelchair up the bridge. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually later oh. this year. I'm taking both of my grandparents to Blydorp. And, oh. uh, to push yeah. them both uh, up we're, the bridge. We're gonna have to push both of them up uh, yeah. all of the bridges. Yeah, I still. I just realized I you forgot to call today. Train. I was going to call the zoo today. <laughs> oh, I called a zoo. I thought. Uh, yeah, I was going them. to call them to to rent the wheelchairs, but I forgot again. Oh. So I'll have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have a really nice view out here of the lemur habitat. This is actually the second lemur habitat that we've seen. It's so a very ugly one. one. At the entrance. <laughs> a nice, yeah. nice little, little islands and a concrete wall behind them. <laughs> Indeed, it the is. This uh, cage reminds me of the font pieces you always use. Yes. <laughs> you would make this out of 12,000 font pieces. Yes, and uh. do you have a problem with that, maybe? No, no, no. Okay, that's good, that's good. We don't want problems. From but up here we also have a view of the backstage of the lemurs. This concrete building reminds me of home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's not as straight as the, as your concrete buildings might be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you are always better even in concrete buildings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but those concrete buildings are very curvy and round. <laughs> okay, I will also do a zoo tour one, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> one, <laughs> one zoo tour. Holy shoe! <laughs> yes, the yeah, ultimate you can, zoo. You can go see the zoo the, the more gazelle. Oh yeah, the Samoy <laughs> Zoo. It's quite nice compared to Warsaw Zoo. We are talking about a whole different type of zoo. <laughs> <coughs> we have one more look of the tigers from above. Oh, and I then thought we were monkey. looking at the mesh. Well, oh. that, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then this uh, leads us into the Africa area. So we're quickly going to rush past it because uh, we're not in Africa. And today. the meerkats, right? This is the mongoose, actually. Oh, the mongoose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, look, what, they look the same. What is interesting is that this actually also used to be uh, a red panda habitat back back in the day. Very small one. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's pretty small. <laughs> but uh, we'll see we'll see a bit of that uh, as we oh. get. Oh, 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 oh we were running. Right. Let's yeah, yeah. Let's quickly uh, quickly go back because we don't want to be in Africa. We oh, be in we're Asia. leaving Africa. So, yeah, we're leaving Africa. Bye bye Africa. <laughs> We, uh, we blessed the rains down there and uh, left. So, back to the elephant path where we left okay. off. Hi, I'm your bird. We are just going. Yeah, yeah. Tell us your elephant joke later. Okay. <laughs> how how do elephants talk to each other? I have no idea, leader. How do elephants talk to each other? 
on the elephone. Jesus. <laughs> it's worse than I thought. <laughs> I found a better one. Oh, okay. oh then go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you call an elephant? That doesn't matter. Not sure. No? An irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> you yeah. messed it up as well. I, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, you are not good That's at okay. jokes. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Zoof is, uh, is not a jokester. No. So, yeah. We can see um, as we walk past here. Um, the oh, moat separating us, <laughs> keeping us safe from the dangerous elephants. Um, we can also see the dead trees <laughs> that they hang food from. Oh, uh, he is still laughing about his own joke. No, I found a new one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Go I'm ahead. Sorry, okay. No, no, no. I'm focusing on the no, habitat look, we're, itself. We're looking, at, we're looking at an elephant. You can tell the oh, elephant okay. joke. They will like it. Oh, it's a very chubby elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a female? I don't know. It was all re all females, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's actually all females. Well, on this yeah. day, yes, true. I mean, if you paid attention, Lida. Oh, I'm so uh, sorry because it reminded me of Taru, and Taru is like a young male elephant at Wuzu. Mm. Ah. Yeah, well, there are two males actually. It's the two two babies, but uh, oh, that was not this? one of them. Oh, these are the remains of the This is, a, this is an elephant graveyard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a little sign over here talking about how elephants, like being very social animals, um, really mourn each other when one dies. Um, so yeah, kind of sad. Sad moment. <laughs> That's why it's stuffed moment. away to yeah. the side over there. Let's wait for the joke. Yes. How Hurry do up. elephants keep oh. cool in the summer? I don't know. Ear conditioning. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah. See? <laughs> well, why didn't for, you laugh? Uh, for African I didn't elephants. I think it was least. funny. Oh. Yeah. Yours was speaking of, funny as well. Speaking of African elephants, here's a little sign talking about the differences between Asian and African elephants. Oh. They have big like ears, it. right? Yes. I like the, cool. the African elephants more. Oh. They look cooler. They do look Beautiful cooler. building. Yeah. Oh, this yes. is a lay designer building. Ah. <laughs> she's yeah, not the she only designed one. It. She's not the only one who's built this building. <laughs> but oh, she but yeah. designed it. Oh, this no. is a this and is a Blyder very iconic uh, <laughs> Blyder building. We'll have a closer look at it after we finish our our trill of the elephants. Is it the lion building? Uh, yes. At the moment, yes. But it has also been a giraffe building. It has been many, many different things. So. Okay. There's also a restaurant. At the moment. So Ah, uh, this is my favorite part. Yes, it's really cool. So we have a blocked off adventure trail and we have a meeting with the elephant caretakers. So I actually purely out of coincidence ha happened to be here around the time of the feeding uh, presentation. Oh. So You're I did record that. the feeding presentation and you can find that uh, I will release a video about it on my second channel oh. where I upload cute animal clips and uh, I'll upload the entire feeding presentation there so you can check that out. Oh, Mister has a second and, uh, channel. Oh yes, my yes, god. Yes, yes. We're, we're, we're in the professional uh, YouTube business now. <laughs> yeah, he has all the fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works better than YouTube. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's where I upload all the elephant uh, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> members. <laughs> okay. So over here, uh, yeah, we can see a sneak peek of the um, presentation that they gave where they get a little bath oh. and we can see oh. the, so that's that one that is swimming right now is the two-year-old one and in the back we can see the one-year-old one as well where oh, so, oh yeah i see it okay yes so yeah more of that on the, uh, the second channel oh dutch people oh yeah. i hate them <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> you can immediately see that it's dutch people right yes yeah i recognize them so oh. Over here, um, the last, no wait, second to last habitat that we'll be looking at today is the uh, Malayan Taper Outdoor Yard. So, of course, we saw their, their indoor area before. It's a beautiful fence. And this is a beautiful, yeah, this is a very blighter fence as well. And we have a small separation area. This is the separation area for the bulls when they have them at the moment, so it's not that big. Makes sense that they want to build a, a different bull area. Because mm -hmm. I actually haven't mentioned that yet, but Blydup is the species coordinator 
of the Asian elephant. So it's very important for them to be able to uh, yeah, hold some elephants um, if they can't place them anywhere, stuff like that. And also they just want to be the example of how to house these animals correctly, being the coordinator, of course. Sure. So. Well, which way are they expanding? Um, the, uh... the camel yard oh, okay. is the plan, but also the rhino field, I think. Uh, the rhino, the Asian rhino, uh, Indian rhino exhibit, are going to be expanding okay. towards that as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know how far in the future it is. In the uh, the last time I was at the zoo, they were uh, like collecting money for it, uh, so they were campaigning a little bit. So I think it's on the horizon, but yeah, I don't know. These things can take forever. They are not really in a position where they can expand the entire uh, zoo, right? Because no, they no, are in the middle of the city. They have to make do with the space that they have. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's uh, yeah, it's just a thing that especially zoos like this have to uh, to work towards to like reduce the uh, amount of different animals and really focus on the ones that you uh, you want. And house them properly. Oh, there's a tape here. There's yeah. two tape here. Oh, oh two of them. where is the second one? They're right next to each other. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> we can't see them anymore. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice enclosure. It's, uh, yeah, it's we need more rocks in the planet too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, you sound like the lady. <laughs> all, yeah. oh. all of last episode, she was talking about rocks. <laughs> yeah, like the faux rocks inside. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So over here is a. Uh, a nice little thing that was here during last summer. This is a little educational oh. booth, a uh, touch table, as they are also called. Oh, you and can buy you can... those. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's you a traveling can... merchant. <laughs> you can... Oh, you can buy a dead red panda. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no, you yeah. can pet them. Where are you the buy? No. They're really cool. <laughs> They're super soft. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like, got, like snakes. You got like snake skins, uh, bones. And you've got volunteers that can tell you all about these uh, wonderful animals. So I always like these kind of things because it's just yeah, really unique educational experiences to oh. really like kind of these unforgettable moments they create. So, yes. Big fan of that. So yeah, as, uh, uh, as, Zouf, always closed. as Zouf already said, this uh, is a restaurant over here. It's closed during the low seasons and during weekdays. Oh. But uh, during the summer, during the summer holidays, it's uh, it is usually open. So let's uh, go quickly back to last year and <laughs> have a small look aside because it is a very nice looking interior with all of these wooden planks on the oh things and the lanterns. Wood, wooden and... planks on the on the arches. Oh no! Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Beautiful terrace. Very beautiful. So yeah, that is. Uh, I don't remember what this building is called. It's like the twin, twin something. I feel like the lady called it twin buildings. Let's stay oh. with that. Yes, let's stay with that. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why I got it from as well. So she um, designed it. So. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on the other side, we now have the indoor area of the Asiatic lion. This oh, we're doing to... that as well. Yes, yes, yes. Why oh, not? Oh my god! I wasn't informed about that. See, this is a little surprise <laughs> for you. I mean, we're finishing up the Asia area. We've got to oh, include okay. these as well. Gotta do all the Asian things. Got to do all the Asian things, because next episode will be Africa. So yeah. Going to with Chinese uh, and after this. In the inside of here, <laughs> you uh, have a wonderful, wonderful smell of lion piss. Ha, and, yes. uh, mm. and some very beautiful savannah murals in the back over there. It's a really nice faux rock as well. It's a very plain enclosure, but it's in the area, so I guess. Yeah. It's kind of an outdoor area. Yeah, we also yeah. have an outdoor area, which we'll look a little bit at. You can actually see some of it from the indoor area as well. And we can see oh. all the lions are doing the same thing that lions always do. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what is interesting over here as well, by the way, is in the in the back there is actually a hatch that goes to a second uh, indoor and also a second outdoor area that is completely off exhibit. Uh, you can't see it. Um, mm -hmm. But it is connected to that indoor area as well. But uh, yeah, let's have one quick look at the uh, last viewing area that we're going to be viewing today. Um, this is a school air viewing uh, spot. Yes, there's a little tribune where you can uh, 
they probably do presentation here as well, judging by the fact that there is speakers over there. Oh, yeah. Um, but what's really interesting and a really cool fact that I've forgotten to mention so far during these episodes is that these uh, fences, look at the beams of the fences. Do they look like anything to you? Yes, like a lantaarnpaal. Yes, almost. These are oh. actually recycled uh, tram line poles. So oh. these are like the, the poles that keep up the cables for trams. And uh, yeah, Blydorp uh, takes those close. in. Yes, you were very close. Blydorp takes those in and, uh, and recycles them for the animal exhibits. Which that's that's cool. kind of cool. Yeah, so you can right. find those kind all across cool. the zoo. And it's a really nice way to, to be a little bit more sustainable. So... We are going to walk under the twin buildings mm. and we are going to mm. walk we're going to exit the asia area through the entrance <laughs> because there's a little fountain thingy there mm -hmm. isn't it um, and the highway <laughs> and the highway yes we can enjoy yeah, the beautiful see. dutch highway oh yeah. my god that's the a nice track. view <laughs> so on the right here you can see these wooden this wooden wall and um, behind there is like backstage of the restaurant um, and on the other side on the left there's a similar area like that. Um, yeah, here we can see it a bit nicer. Um, on the other side, there's a similar area like that, but that is actually oh a lion enclosure. That's horrible, but this side of, <laughs> this side of, a, of the buildings isn't painted. It's brown. <laughs> it's just... okay. Just to save money. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's a nice building. We should spend money on historic architecture. Oh, I thought <laughs> it was a fountain here, but it's just an empty <laughs> pot. Yeah. Okay, if you look very closely through those wooden slats, you can actually see mesh fence like there, off the line enclosure. Yes. Yeah, here we have the beautiful, beautiful back of the entrance. <laughs> yeah, let's have just one peek over that. So, Asia. that is the Asia area. And that is where we're going to wrap up this video. So, in the next episode, uh, I will be joined by someone else. Ooh. And we are going to be looking at the Africa area. Starting with the base camp over here and the not African lions. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Zuf and Lida, I want to thank you both so much for joining me today. Well, uh, thank you uh, for having us. Yes. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Yes. Thanks I for like your it. horrible elephant jokes. And yeah, no, no problem. problem. Please never do My that pleasure. again. Okay. And, we won't. Uh, I'll see you in. <laughs> I'll see you some other time. You. Thank you. Bye bye. You. you.